used a uh, you know local uh, local grouper here. So the first you know first thing we're going to do is uh, basically just uh, chop it off little enough so that it fits in a, in a food processor. We get a food processor, so we put you know our fish in a in a food processor. So we have lobster, beautiful lobster knuckle here, and a knuckle being you know this part of the lobster, more or less the arm of the actual lobster. Basically boil it in a, in a, in a water, plain, plain just water, a just a quick, quick blanch, so that it allows us to re, re, remove the, the meat, uh, lobster meat from the shelves. And after you blanch it, you put it in cold water so it yes. doesn't continue to shock, cook. Shock it, what we call shock, you just basically ice it down, so you boil your lobster, um, depending on the size of course, but you know, a lobster like this would be about four or five minutes. You know, the flesh is still sort of like medium rare. Uh, yeah, so it's not fully you know, cooked. It's not fully cooked. We're gonna add basically a little bit of cream, heavy cream. cream. So you, you basically process it uh, where towards you're gonna get like a nice forest. But in, there's in still a, some texture to well, it, Well, there's, right? te there's texture right before you're gonna add the cream. And the cream is gonna be there basically to help to smooth it up a little bit. Huh? Egg, again, you know, the egg is gonna, is gonna be there to help us out to... Uh, to bind it. To bind everything together, all the ingredients, exactly right. Huh? Due to the fact that we're gonna put, uh, we did put a lobster. We're gonna add the salt and pepper. Togarashi is a, um, it's a Japanese, uh, Japanese spice. Yes, a mixture um, of spice. Uh, well, the, the chili, of course, you know, chili flakes, that's the, the ingredient number one to give the spice. Uh, we have a little bit of seaweed, ginger, uh, ginger powder, a little bit of a um, dry orange, uh, usually dry orange skins or some sort of a um, zest. citrus zest. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and sesame seeds. And sesame seeds as well. Just gonna more add a, cream, Just chef? a little, little oh bit God. more cream, yeah. You can see on camera, but... Uh, this is basically nice and, nice and smooth like this. You just basically pass it through a, a chinois like this. You're, you know, you're serving lobster. Uh, chef, I noticed you put chives, you said baby chives? Yeah, baby chives, it's going to bring a little flavor as well. And um, is that purple basil that you just put basil, in? Purple basil, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you purple don't have basil, purple basil, we can use green? You can use green no basil, you can use that's sweet basil, available. you can use, you know, any, any, basically any herbs, chervil, any, anything like that. So now all the fiber is left behind, yes. and you're left with this so nice... So ba basically we, we left with a wow. nice, uh, smooth, you know, velvet uh, texture. I'm going to incorporate the chop of, you know, the chop uh, uh, um, lobster... And the herbs. Knuckle and the herbs. You see, it's, it's sort of a, um, you know, nice, smooth um, texture. So I use a, a, a plastic uh, film or a cling film. Or, so you yeah. get the bag ziplock, you open it up and just the, basically... The plain old sandwich bag squeeze, you can use. Squeeze your, you know, your farce in there, yeah. just like that. Tension, a little force like that. And you just basically go like this. You can go once, you can go twice. Just like that. What you want to do is fold it like this. You want to chase the hair. The, the bubbles. You know, you the, want bubbles to get the bubbles, the air that's inside. Because you you're trying to get a really tight, you, tight. You want, yeah, you want a, a, some sort of a tension a little bit and so that you can assemble the whole dish later on. Mm -hmm. So see what it is, it's basically a little strip, little sausage like this. You know, cook it in a, in a simmering water like this. Gently. Gentle. Uh, right before the boil, so we're talking about uh, Celsius, you know, anywhere between, you know, 75 to 80, 80-ish, 80 80. On, on something like this, uh, four to five minutes will be probably enough. But we're going to do a batter. It's a, um, it's a cornmeal batter, uh, AP flour, uh, cornmeal, a little bit of uh, salt, pepper, and then we have sugar, a little bit of sugar, baking powder, and uh, baking soda as well. So we mixed all the dry ingredients together. And this is just milk, this is not cream, tell milk. me it's not cream, It's chef. milk. Basically add enough milk so that our uh, batter will, will coat, uh, you know, the, the lobster right here. So it, sh it should be a pouring consistency, yes. correct? Yes, cut bite, I would say bite size, you know, something like this. So our uh, vegetable oil will reach temperature fairly soon. We just apply this little, little guys here right into the batter. So we have caramelized onion. What we did is that we just basically uh, chop off the onion very thin um, and just slowly caramelize them in, uh, in oil uh, in a pot. Nice and slow, get you know, that nice golden brown uh, color. And what we did is that we process it, we puree it as a, as a very uh, thin, um, thin consistency. So there these are the same onions now are pureed. Yeah, th those, those, you know, those guys have basically been pureed, processed. Did a bit of reduced cream, you know, more of a, 
liquid uh, texture. What do you mean by reduced by half? You're actually going to cook it down yeah. to make it half? Mm -hmm. yeah. You've already done that? Yeah, we, we did boil the cream. Okay, so the cream was boiled down yes. to make it thicker, uh -huh. more concentrated? Yep. Put a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Kind of easier to... We, we put our, uh, you know, our mix. Okay. And again, egg whites are going to be uh, there to help to... Sort again, of like to fluff, to fluff give it air. A bit. Yeah. So you're taking one cartridge, taking yeah. it out, one putting the time, second, this, the third. Yeah. And every time you're doing that, it's adding more pressure. So basically, that's what it is. Okay. Right here. Perfect temperature. So it only takes for the batter to be nice and golden brown. That's our lobster tail right here that comes to play. Lobster, straight up, you know, boil. Slicing it Just on angle. Slice it up like this. Make a little medallion. And basically have our uh, sauce right next to it, you know, like this. You can also, you know, apply a little bit on top like this. Lobster uh, corn dog. 